was a lady's lace into a double head loop, okay? And then we kind of went from there, we kind of modified some things, we went back and reviewed the bounce underarm turn, but right now let's kind of look at the, uh, the fundamental basics of the double head loop from the lace. The lace is a bronze pattern, so we learned that a few months ago. Uh, so if we started here, we went one, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and notice how early I presented that hand. I bought, when I'm walking, eight, and my hand is already there. So that when she turns and takes that side step before she even takes that side step, I see it. she sees it, okay? This is the first head loop. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. That's the second head loop. Now then, we'll go this way to do it. I know we get caught up on the footwork, and footwork is very, very important, but the most important thing is the arms because we're in a convoluted mess. So we've got to make sure that the connection is very light and it's just in the fingertips. And it's, it feels almost like an egg. should look very slowly and not forced, okay? So again, in the context of what we did tonight, the pattern was, and then I'm gonna kind of change my footwork to show how it can change. So this is slow, quick, quick, 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 slow, just slowly, flowy, flowy. If I move during my part of the egg beater a little bit after I drape her head, if I move my steps a little bit, it gives it a little bit more volume. So, if we so that in that case, if, if he moves a little bit more, maybe he cuts in a little bit more behind me, uh, then I feel like more I'm doing a, a, uh, like a pinwheel rather than a military type turn, a pivot turn. Yes, so either one is fine. And again, it's good. not about necessarily about the footwork, it's more about the flowy. Once you get the flowy, then it's more about the body movement, the flight. So if we kind of move that a little bit more, this would be slow, quick, quick, 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 slow. So I almost do a little bit of a, a box step just to kind of transition from one rail to the other and then back to the other rail, which allows Laura to actually move her steps a little bit more from this direction. This would be three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four, and five. I can adjust it any number of ways. But the main thing is we're looking at each other as we hit this convoluted mess here, we're looking at each other, okay? So from there, we added the bounce under on turn back into it. So if this was one, two, three, four, and five, six and change her direction seven. So here I've got a connection through her left hand. I'm not squeezing it, I'm just saying, hold on, wait just a second. I'm raising my left side to redirect her. So if that's a five, that's seven, this is eight and one, back into the context of the pattern. So that whole pattern went one, two, three, four and five. We, we could add flourishing if we want we to. Could. We won't want to do that right now. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one, back to the beginning. The last thing we didn't really show you, but we'll show you maybe next week, is the pattern was originally done in the syllabus form with an outside turn, with a leader using his left, right hand. Right to left to create it. It actually makes for a really nice flowy. I'll show you that in two different directions. So we'll disregard the bounce for right now. This was slow, quick, quick, 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 slow, from this direction here. I'm doing a natural, a leader's right loop, cutting across instead of using my left hand to shape, I'm using my right hand to shape an outside turn. Three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one. Daddy. <laughs>